Hello my beautiful friends. Are you worried about the eclipse that will take place on April 8, 2024? Do you know exactly what to expect during an eclipse? Do you know where the eclipse will take place and at what time? A matter of fact, what are you planning to do on April 8th? In this video, I'm going to help you to prepare for the eclipse. You will learn what to do before the eclipse, what to do during the eclipse, and what to do after the eclipse. If this sounds good to you, grab your pens and paper and let's begin. On April 8th, an incredible eclipse will take place over Mexico, the US and Canada. The duration of totality will be up to 4 minutes and 27 seconds. But what exactly is a solar eclipse? Don't you know that a solar eclipse occurs during the day? Yes, the earth orbits the sun, which means that the earth follows a curved path around the sun. Similarly, the moon orbits the earth. Let's look at a simulation of a solar eclipse. When the moon moves between the sun and the earth, it blocks out the sun rays which cast a shadow on parts of the earth. This is called a solar eclipse. Now, let's take a look at the simulation. If you notice that the moon will go between the sun and the earth, and then you will have the solar eclipse. Yes, it's that simple. There are two types of shadows that are cast on the earth. The umbral shadow, which is the darker inner shadow, and the penumbral shadow, which is the lighter outer shadow. Now let's take a look one more time at the simulation. The moon will go between the earth and the sun. Then you will see the lighter shadow and the darker shadow. Let's look at it one more time. The umbral shadow creates an imaginary line on the earth known as the path of totality. This is why there are so many excitement, fuss, worry, prophecies, warnings, and strange dreams about April 8th solar eclipse. Because the umbral shadow first touches Mexico and enters the United States at Texas, then visit the maritime provinces of Canada. If you are in the path of totality, there are certain things you need to do before the solar eclipse. Number one, make sure your phone is fully charged. The worst thing is for your phone to shut down in the middle of the eclipse. Pack your medication. Painkiller is a must. You do not want to have a headache from the sweat or from the crowd or from the long ride. Number three, protect your vision. Get a safety eyewear. You can also get a safety solar viewer if you must, but it's not necessary. Number five, get some food. Don't go hungry during the eclipse. All you have to do is to just have your favorite snack for your journey that you can have after the eclipse or before the eclipse. Number six is fill up your gas tank. If you are traveling to the path of totality, you need petrol. Do not run out of petrol on the way. All right, so number seven, what is number seven? Number seven says you need a road map. Now remember, the road map is there to help you not to get lost. And the next thing you need to do is to wear comfortable clothing. The last one says be on time. According to greatamericaneclipse.com, in the U.S., totality will begin in Texas at 1.27 p.m. CDT and will end 
in Maine at 3.35 p.m. EDT on April 8, 2024. Now, if you are stuck in traffic, then you will not get the chance to view the solar eclipse. So you need to leave your house on time if you are planning to travel. You do not want to end up in traffic. Now, what should you do during the eclipse? Now, this is very important, guys. Make sure you're taking notes. Put your phone on video and press the red button to start recording. Of course, you want to capture this exciting moment. Number two, put on your safety eyewear. You should at no time view the eclipse with your naked eyes. Only use your safety solar viewer when the sun is completely covered. Guys, I do not want to hear of anyone going blind after the solar eclipse. Number four, look out for other planets. Look out for these two major planets. Jupiter will be to the left of the sun and Venus to the right. Number five, hold the hand of the person next to you and enjoy the greatest four minutes and 27 seconds of your entire life. What should you do after the eclipse? Number one, remain calm and avoid disputes. Remember guys that the, you're going to have, maybe you have a lot of people, a lot of crowd. So you just need to remain in your circle. And please, no fights, no quarrel, and no shouting. Number two, remove your eyewear and view the eclipse from your phone. That is if you have recorded it. Just remove your eyewear and just watch it again. Number three, do not walk in the crowd. You may get lost, especially if you have children. Just wait until the crowd is gone. Then you can actually walk. Number four says you need to grab a bite. Have some food with your friends. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy your favorite snack. And while you're at it, remember to send a text home, letting them know that you're safe and you're on your way home. And of course, you can send the video to your family and friends. You can send it to me as well. <laughs> okay, that's it, guys. You now have all the information that you need. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on April 8th. <laughs>